Hello, and what is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and today I wanted to bring you guys some very interesting information about the all the versions of Mod Runner. This applies to the PC version, this applies to the console versions of the game, and this is the game's first DLC. Now, the game's first DLC, first off, it's going to be a free DLC, which is absolutely, I like, I didn't even think, I didn't even know if it was going to be free or not, and the first thing is, it's going to be a free, basically a full, free content update, available on PC, PS4, and Xbox One, and they say the first DLC will include a, a bunch of new content for the game. Firstly, a brand new map called The Valley. Now, a very large, heavily wooded map, and they say it's similar to Deluge, if you like that map. Um, the only difference is you will start outside of a garage and will need to claim one. So, however you feel about starting out outside of a garage, I mean, like, that is kind of up to you. That's kind of up to the player, how they feel about starting away from a garage. Um, that's, or, well, starting without, an, without the ability to rescue to a garage. But... I think some people like that, some people don't. I'm personally not a huge fan of starting outside of a garage, but I'm still absolutely, like, pumped to see this map come out, and I'm going to be bringing you guys a bunch of coverage on it when it does come out. But the cool thing about this is that the Xbox One and PS4 people will be getting a new map. I mean, I know it's not a mod map, but it's still really, really cool because they're still getting a brand new map. Now, there's also, in you know, not only is there a brand new map, but they've got three new vehicles um, coming to the game. They say they can be used on any map, um, provided you have enough progression points unlocked. Now, the weird thing, though, um, the weird thing, though, is that they say also, like, like for other maps and their specific vehicles, you won't have to spend points to use these vehicles in the valley. So, basically... These vehicles will already be on the map on the valley, but if you want to use them in other maps, they require progression points to unlock. So if you guys have enough progression points, then you'll be fine. Like, if you have everything unlocked in the game, you'll be absolutely fine. If you don't, you may need to progress a little bit further to get access to these vehicles for use in another map. Now, the three vehicles are the A969. They say it's a powerful 4x4, spe uh, specially, ad or, yeah, specially adapted to the heavily forested terrain, or wooded, I don't know why they say forested, but heavily adapted to the wooded terrain of the valley. The C6317, a six-wheeled truck able to sport a wide arrangement of add-ons, which is really cool, and I can't wait to see what they exactly mean by that, like what they mean by a wide range. And finally, the E7429, they say a very large 8x8 truck with a special hidden talent. Not sure what the special hidden talent is, um, but they say we'll have more, they'll have more information on each of these vehicles um, it, as they lead up to the release in weekly vehicle, um, they, they said they're going to do weekly vehicle presentations and fact sheets, just like they did as we were leading up to the launch of the game. So... Not only are there new vehicles and the new map, though, there's also eight new add-ons. Um, C6317 spare wheel, A969 uh, spare wheel, A969 fuel canisters, A969 garage parts, A969 utility attachment, and then the E7429 advanced trailer hitch, E7429 repair kit, and E7429 uh, garage semi-trailer, which is also compatible with the E7310 or the E7310 from the base game. Also a medium log trailer compatible with some trucks, not all, from the base game. Now, they also say for the modders out there, there will be some more assets for you to play with when making your maps and vehicles, which is very, very cool that they're bringing new, uh, like new features to the mod community as well as the player community, which really goes to show that they're in touch with the community around this game because they understand that this game literally revolves around mods. Like, th it literally, the whole series revolves around mods. Now, the mod, uh, the assets that you'll be that they'll be able to play with in terms of mods are the um, the E7310 trailer hitch, um, a broken tree asset which is currently only used in the valley, a dirt road terrain overlay type which is also currently only used on the valley. So we'll be getting new textures um, and new 3D assets as well. Now, you'll be able to, they say you'll be able to play around with it, mess around with the DLC, uh, the map, as soon as the DLC is installed. Um, so if you just got the game and you haven't finished anything else, you haven't completed the other maps, um, they say you can still go, you can still download the update and go straight into the new map without having to uh, unlock it. And they say it'll be the same type of objective-style gameplay where you'll have to run around and unlock uh, cloaked areas, 
deliver lumber, unlock vehicles, and then complete the game through the uh, through progression. Now they also, but they also have said that we they look forward to sharing more about the DLC as time goes on. But also, in addition to this DLC, they they, they said they've said that they're going to be doing monthly updates. Uh, community updates uh, to share what they've been working on as the game as the game progresses now I am really excited to see that because that means that that means that we're gonna be that they're they're really trying to continue the support of this game and it seems like they're gonna continue it in a big way so I for one am very very excited to see that they're doing that and I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be really really cool number one I think it's gonna be really really cool to see and I think it's also going to be very, very interesting in terms of what we will see as the game does progress. Because as this game progresses, there's going to be a lot of new, a lot of new features, a lot of new things, and hopefully a lot of continued support for the community around the game, as well as the modding community. And I think that they've really done a good job of that uh, with this update. So hopefully, hopefully the map is awesome. They, they they've said it's going to be huge. And as we've as we've already seen in this update, there's going to be new new assets and new textures, um, and a bunch of new vehicles as well as the new map. So I for one think that that is insane for a free DLC for all consoles and PC. I think that's an absolutely awesome thing. For both, honestly, I think that's an absolutely awesome just gift from the developers to for this to be a free DLC. I think a bunch of people are going to absolutely love it, and I love what it actually says about the game and the direction of the game as a whole. Now, my personal feelings on this, too, are in terms of the modding community. I really like that the modding community has been included. I really like the fact that they haven't been left out or pushed to the side or anything like that, because you see that happen a lot with, you know, different games kind of throughout just really throughout gaming in general, you know, you'll see developers go like, eh, mods, nah, we're, we don't, we don't, we don't want to deal with that, that's too risky, but they've gone like, yeah, dude, mods, bring it on, because they know that this game lives on through mods, that's the reason why this game is still here today, and why this game still continues to be a thing, you know, all throughout the community, and it also gives the off-road community and the off-road people somewhere to go in gaming, because really off-road isn't that well represented outside of all off-road racing in gaming. I mean, and you could say off-road isn't very well represented in gaming, and a lot of people are going to say, well, what about this this off-road game, this off-road game, this off-road game, this off-road game? Most off-road games are off-road racing, and I think that that's great that's represented, but trail riding and logging and stuff like that, rock crawling and mudding, it's not usually, not usually very well represented, and uh, there's not really that much support out there for it in uh, in the gaming space and I think this game definitely fills that niche and fills that need of of kind of, of of that of that community that a lot of people before this game came out or before the first spin tires came out a lot of people didn't know that that community in terms of gaming that it even existed or that it would be there and, and of course you know if you go back far enough there's games like rigs of rods and stuff like that and things like things like that that people would build off-road map would make off-road maps make off-road vehicles and then they would go off-roading and stuff like that but you didn't have the level of terrain deformation or the level of programmability with like these different maps and like tire grip and obstacles and stuff like that that you have in the spin tires games so i think that this really it really filled a niche that needed to be filled and there's you know there's a, there, there have been some other games too but they all were very, they all felt very boxed in. Like, there, there were, there were some off-roading games that were kind of trials-based and, you know, that you had, like, a fenced-in course that you had to follow. And those were fun, but they felt very, they felt very closed in, boxed in. And I think that that's, that's a, not something that a lot of people want to deal with because nobody wants to feel boxed in when you're off-roading, right? You go off-roading to have that freedom to go where you want, and the fact that this game gives you that freedom I think is why a lot of people enjoy it for not just the logging and not just the objective based gameplay but for the 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 idea that you can go and be like hey I'm gonna go here hey I'm gonna go here oh I want to go over there that's a really cool rock that I'm gonna climb on I think that that's probably one of the biggest things that makes this game special in terms of where it sits in the community because it's this game has grown into its own little community around off-roading. I mean, you go into like, you know, a Facebook group about Jeeps or off-roading and and you post about spin tires or spin tires mud runner, 
and I guarantee you that you will get a bunch of responses from people saying, oh yeah, I play that game, oh yeah, I play that game, and because it's simple, it's not very, it's not a daunting, intimidating game to play or mod, and I think that's why it attracts a lot of people, and I think that they've, they've done a really good job of kind of staying with that idea and staying with that feel throughout what they've been doing with the, um, with the updates and the mods, and I, I can't wait to see where this all goes, but if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a like, tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, and remember that when that update goes live, all that coverage will be here on my channel, and you'll, you guys will also hear about it as we get new, uh, new coverage on vehicles and things like that. I probably won't do a video on every vehicle, because that would be like a one minute video, but um, what we'll do is as we, as more information rolls out, We'll get all that information together, and then I'll give it to you guys as one big piece of information so you really don't have to go anywhere else other than right here. But again, hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to you all later.